All right. So the next one here, U.S. lawmakers to demand China divest from TikTok. So this article is from Will Porter at the Libertarian Institute, and it says a bipartisan group in Congress has introduced legislation that would give TikTok's China-based parent firm just six months to divest from the social media giant, a measure which already received backing from the White House. So this was introduced by Mike Gallagher, who chairs the House's Committee on China, um, which has been around for a little over a year now. He's like the total China hawk. He was just in Taiwan recently. Um and the ra panel's ranking Democrats, so it's bipartisan legislation. And again, it has backing from the White House. So it's this idea that TikTok is a big national security threat, which um, is just completely absurd at this point. They've made TikTok basically bend the knee to the U.S. government, and it now it censors things that most social media in the U.S. censors. And um, so this is basically would force, if they don't divest if ByteDance, the Chinese company, doesn't divest from TikTok, then uh, they would have to, they would be banned from the app stores and everything. And this is um, just part of, you know, this this overreach that we'll see from the, the government with this new Cold War with China. Um, you know, this is just a taste, I think, of things to come. And, and this is the, the, the latest effort. Trump was trying to do this. He was trying to get like Microsoft to buy TikTok. Um, they failed. They haven't been able to do this yet. But um, it's something that they really want to do. And I think uh, uh, Glenn Greenwald had a really good video about TikTok uh, last year on his Rumble channel. Um, I could put the link to that in the, in the description if I remember. Uh, basically saying, again, how the censorship regime, they've appointed this board and it's like former FBI and U.S. intelligence people. So the censorship that you see on TikTok, again, is very similar to what you see on Facebook and stuff now. It's not, it, you know uh any different really but this is all just kind of fear mongering with this so-called uh china is the big enemy now and and biden said uh during his state of the union he repeated this crazy line that he said i think in his first one that the u.s and china are in a competition to win the 21st century whatever that means and he said it again uh this time what happened to your idea of free market what happened to your idea of Sacrosanct private property. What happened to your ideas of freedom of expression? It's getting so totally ridiculous.